Hey, this month I'm very happy to welcome Lukas Eder to the Persistence Hub with his expert session about getting the most out of your database with SQL and Juke. Lukas is a Java champion and the creator of Juke, so who else would be better to talk about um, what's new with relational databases and SQL and all these kind of things. Hey, Lukas, what will you be talking about uh, in this month? Hi, Torn. Great for having me. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of things that are cool in SQL, the language which has improved a lot in the last decades. Uh, we'll talk about uh, new influences from NoSQL databases and other ecosystems like, uh, for instance, uh, graph, uh, property graph extensions, which came from Neo4j. And uh, we'll add a lot of uh, great uh, ideas to the latest SQL standard, also implemented already by Oracle, for example or also uh, object relational uh, extensions, as well as uh, JSON. SQL JSON was one of the most promising new features in the recent standards, uh, also or in, standardized by Oracle and implemented by Oracle, but all has been present in Postgres for ages and the other databases like SQL Server and now MySQL also adopted. And these uh, features are uh, offering a lot of uh, great uh, new functionality in terms of nesting data structures, which also also in, in, uh, when we talk about the Juke API, which uh, leverages uh, uh, language features like these, um, the Juke API. Uh, here we have a simple example: is a internal domain-specific language that allows for modeling the SQL language directly in Java. You have a query like this where you can write SQL queries, uh, but it looks like Java and it executes in Java and you have all the type safety associated with it. For instance, this generated actor record here knows that it has first and last name columns. So you have a code generator that uh, reverse engineers your database schema so you can access it. But I've talked about the JSON extensions, which are really exciting because now we can emulate nested collections as in the SQL standard multi-set operation where you can nest a query. So here we have a query that queries the film table in this database, but we also fetch all the actor first names and last names, and we nest that data structure with multi-set. So we get for each film their actors, right? So we have a target data structure that we want to achieve, like this one here, this record, where we have the film title, the list of actors, and the list of categories, and we can fetch this in a type safe way with a single query. And behind the scenes. What is happening is for uh, with Postgres, with this Postgres implementation of uh, this database, we're going to use JSON aggregation here with JSON B, and uh, the nested collection will be aggregated into this JSON data structure, and Juke will deserialize the whole data structure again into your nested record data structure. But you see behind the scenes, uh, what really happens is that there's going to be a JSON document as an intermediary document. So this is a really cool Juke feature that I'm going to showcase in this video, but also a couple of other things. And we'll discuss a lot more about also what, what's new in SQL and, and why SQL is so great for data-centric applications and how it helps you think about your data sets in terms of sets uh, in a different way than what, what you would do in normal with an ORM where you, are, where you work directly with the individual row, which is also fine for some use cases, but for other use cases, the querying and the sets are a more uh, interesting choice. Yeah, thank you. And I can't wait to learn more about this multi-set feature and dive a little bit deeper into um, all the, in my uh, point of view, very interesting SQL stuff. So yeah, if you want to watch the entire session and get access to all other expert sessions and courses, make sure to join the Persistence Hub. See you there.